Hello there everybody, Sam Strings here, welcome back to the railway and welcome to another rolling stock review. So, a massive, massive shout out and a massive thank you goes to Callum of the Northern Soul Express channel because he spotted today's piece of rolling stock, or pieces of rolling stock, on eBay and he sent me a message to say, I think you might be quite interested in these. So sure enough, I was and I actually picked them up, so that's what I'm reviewing today. Of course, I've not talked about what it is yet though, so it is this. Now, you might wonder what on earth this is. So this is a Jackson Sharp open side excursion car with seats painted. So, you're probably wondering why on earth did he want this? Well, first of all, it was quite inexpensive and in fact when I logged on to eBay they gave me a voucher for I think five or ten pounds off so it made them pretty cheap in fact in the end I think I only paid about seven pounds fifty or something like that each for these and there are three but the others aren't boxed so I'll show you those later on also Word has it that these are the same cars or coaches that is used by Disney at Disneyland or Disney World. I'm, uh, yeah, probably Disneyland actually. Uh, I'm not 100% sure whether these are the exact same cars. They certainly don't have any Disney lettering on them. But uh, word has it that these are the same ones used. And I'm a huge theme park slash amusement park fan, so I really wanted to get these. And as I say, they were good and cheap, so I picked them up. So, Bankman excursion cars, they do look pretty good quality, as you can see there. It looks as though we've got metal wheels on these, so I think they ought to be fairly interesting. So I'm not going to spend long on this today, just a quick look, and we'll open this up and see what it's like. Alright, so, Jackson Sharp, open side excursion car. Here we go. So, according to the box, this is a Backman Silver Series model. Now, I assume this is from the USA, obviously, and not Backman Branch Line. And I don't really know very much about Backman USA, but looking at the quality of this, just as it is inside the box, I would say that Silver Series obviously means that this is some of the better stuff. Um, the level of detail looks a lot better than some of the Backman uh, USA stuff I've looked at in the past. And obviously, the metal wheels and the decent-looking couplings all look to be really good quality. Now, these are second-hand. I think they've been used before. And in fact, if you look closely at this one, you might see that some passengers have actually been glued into some of the seats, uh, which is pretty cool. I don't mind that at all. I certainly won't be taking those out or anything. They can stay there for all I mind, really. And if I show you the end of the box very briefly, you can see exactly what this is. So this is item number 19349. So that's what you want to look up if you're interested in these. It is an HO scale Jackson Sharp open side. I've already read this to you, haven't I? Excursion car with seats painted, yeah. And it is unlettered. So yeah, it doesn't have any of the Disney lettering on, the, on it or anything like that. But uh, yeah, looking at pictures of the real things at Disneyland. Uh, these do look pretty similar. Okay, well, let's get this out then and see exactly what it's like. And uh, if the others are anything to go by, it should be quite impressive. Okay, so it's in just a little bit of a plastic sleeve. Let's grab it out and take a look. Ooh, I, I, it seems like quite a fragile thing. I don't want to be too rough with it. Okay, here it is then. So, yeah, it's one of those things that looks really, really cool. I've got no idea whatsoever what I'm going to do with it. Um, I'm sure it'll be all right to do sort of excursions and things on my layout. And I suppose in real life they would have been used at roadside attractions that have railroads and things. But as you can see, the level of detail looks absolutely fantastic on this, really. I wasn't expecting it to be. But uh, yeah, it looks really, really good, doesn't it? Um, it's reasonably heavy as well, actually, to say that it's sort of not that substantial looking. Uh, so yeah, very, very cool. I do like this already, actually. Um, even though, as I say, I've no idea really what I'm going to do with it on a regular basis. Uh, so yeah, we'll take a look at this up close in just a second. But I was looking up a little bit about Jackson and Sharp as the company. Apparently they were founded way back in 1863, and they were a manufacturer of American railroad coaches, or cars if you like. They also did freight cars, even street cars, and apparently they, they actually did some shipbuilding as well. They made boats and things. So quite a multifaceted company. Uh, they didn't really make so many boats, I think, from 1911 onwards. I think that's when they stopped doing that. Uh, but yeah, as I say, these particular models seem to strongly resemble the coaches used at Disneyland. As I say, it's not absolutely clear whether these are the exact ones they used. I'm not 100% sure. The eBay listing certainly said so, and a lot of people online say so too. Uh, but uh, I think a lot of people do actually use them for Disney-themed layouts, which is quite cool. All right, let's take a closer look then. 
So, I must be completely honest here and say that I'm a little bit blown away, really, by the sheer quality and the level of detail on this model. So, as I say, I paid less than £8 a piece for these, and so obviously the price really did set my expectations. And when I bought them, I thought, you know, they're Backman USA. Loads of people have told me that the Backman USA stuff is very different to the Backman branch line stuff that we get over here in the UK. So, to be perfectly honest, for the price I paid, I was expecting them to be a little bit like that prairie from Backman I looked at. I thought it would be that sort of ilk of uh, quality and detail level but I must say I was completely wrong the level of detail on this as I say is incredible so we'll just have a quick whistle stop tour first of all the benches look how ornate the benches are on the ends these have all got lots of painted detail on them very very lovely patterns the actual molded detail on each bench is absolutely uh, tremendous really and if we look actually onto the benches you can see the planks there and of course there's an awful lot of seats on this it's not just one or two it's very very highly detailed the model itself besides the seats is very very beautiful as well I would say it's beautiful it's just what you'd expect really from a Disney theme park isn't it the ends look they've got all of that really really ornate detail glazed windows with sort of black lining around them which is really really lovely it's got a sort of clerestory roof as you can see which again has loads and loads of painted detail on it really really nicely done in fact you've got these verandas which uh, are complete with the little I suppose brake wheels or something like that I don't expect you're able to ride on those verandas at least not at Disneyland maybe it's some uh, attractions and things you might be able to but yes it gives it that typical American look doesn't it and then you've got this step as well which I suppose would help people get on and off the thing which again is very finely molded and behind there even you can see we've got some underframe detail which is very very finely molded and quite fragile actually you have to be careful not to touch it or anything but again fine details like that I was certainly not expecting and then again you've got these metal wheels which is good quality a lot of the Backman USA stuff I've had so far didn't have metal wheels they were just plastic so that's really really cool and then you've got these knuckle couplers and these are the good type as well uh, are they called KDs or oh, shouldn't say that because if it's wrong people will jump down my throat um, but either way yeah they're really really good quality aren't they so there we go absolutely tremendous I was amazed when on these first came I thought blimey these are these are awesome for £7.50 or whatever it was I paid so Goodness knows what loco I'm going to run these with. Uh, oh, I, I think I know. I think I know. So anyway, I'll unite this with the other two, which are very slightly different, but not really. And, uh, well, I'll do a little excursion, shall I, and show some people around the layout. OK, well, let's give it a try. So as you can see, I've picked out one or two different things to run with these excursion coaches. I picked this little, uh, let's see, Baltimore and Ohio 440 for the excursion coaches. I mean, I suppose it's sort of similar to what Disney used. They tend to use a lot more old-timey, more brightly coloured 440s on the Disneyland Railroad. But it's sort of similar anyway. And then, obviously, there's nothing really that comparable to these coaches. So I've gone for the, on the inside line, I've put the D16 with some clerestory coaches from the UK. Those are LNER clerestory coaches. And then you'll see this in a moment. We've got a Pennsylvania Pacific by Mahano. And there's also some little American coaches behind those as well. So let's see how these uh, excursion cars run i must say they're not particularly freewheeling they don't roll along like some pieces of rolling stock do uh, but this 440 seems to manage them just fine so here we are get those going and speed them up a little bit and then we have the d16 there we go and then if i get this uh, pennsylvania pacific going you'll be able to see the coaches i mentioned and these are also backman coaches but they're a lot cheaper and a lot more basic all right well let's have a look at them run shall we so, I absolutely love these. They're a bit different, aren't they? Certainly not something I knew existed before today, really, or before I bought these. Uh, so, yeah, I'll have to try and do some proper excursions with them, won't I? I might set up some uh, Wild West scenes next to the track and do excursions. That's the sort of thing you get in America, isn't it? What's that one called? There is a, a roadside attraction with a, a railway and West, Wild West scenes along the side of the track. Might try that one day, that would be an interesting premise for a layout, wouldn't it? And it's great for those who might want to build a Disney layout one day. You know, you've got the uh, these coaches which are really great for them. They are the slightly loud and grumbling Pennsylvania loco. Oh, thank you for that D16 cutting the coaches off there, never mind. 
So here are some of my ratings then for the quite interesting, I think, uh, Jackson Sharp open side excursion cars. So detail, I've given this a four out of five. It was way better than I expected. Very, very highly detailed in fact, so easily deserving of a four star there. The performance is five star. They work exactly as they're supposed to. They're not that freewheeling, but they're not, you know, they don't have huge amounts of drag either. So they, they are just fine. No derailments actually, uh, especially those tiny little HO wheels. I thought, oh, they might jump off on the curbs and points, but they haven't, they're absolutely fine. Plenty of weight as well so yes very good performance the quality is very good as well there are a few little bits of detail that are a bit flimsy and you have to be careful not to damage them or anything like that but overall yes the quality is very very good and as i say they weigh a lot too which makes a big difference now i have no idea how much these would cost brand new i would expect that they'd be a little expensive really because yeah they are quite detailed uh, but as i say for seven pounds fifty each which is what i paid that has to be a bargain so through ignorance, I'm going to give it a 5 star. I think they really are good value. Overall then, that is 8.81 out of 10. Yeah, pretty happy with those. Uh, yes, very pleased indeed. So there we go, a sort of mini American running session. Well, at least two engines with American trains behind them. That's not too bad. Well, folks, thank you for joining me for that. A uh, bit unusual, very much so, but uh, I don't think... That's a bad thing, is it really? It's quite nice to have a complete change once in a while. Uh, I don't really know, to be perfectly honest, how often you're going to see these on the channel. If you've got any ideas, or excuses rather, um, for me so that I can run them more often, do let me have them. And uh, yeah, we might well see them again. But for the time being, I hope you enjoyed that. I will keep my brain in gear and think of what I could do with them. Uh, they might be useful for videos, you never know. But uh, either way, I hope you enjoyed those. Hope you enjoyed seeing something a little different, obviously. And I will see you probably with something a little bit more normal next time, if that's what you fancy. Uh, so thanks for your company, thanks for watching folks, and I will see you very, very soon. Cheers everybody.